find us here today at Sachs Mundum? We're trying to get answers to some of the questions we posed uh, on Monday at Felixstowe Town Council concerning the local plan. So hopefully we'll have a bit more of that today. Okay, plans are available here, are they? Uh, yes, we do have a limited number right. that we can give away. That's, the, that's what they were the figures that you requested, so Excellent. back in 2003. And that is purely and for Felix Stowe. And do we have them for the whole district um, as well? We, we, we do. I haven't yeah. printed those ones no, out for you. But if you but would, they, that would be grand. Um, yes, yeah, anything like that. They've got they would say I would say they've got lots of problems all over and they have got resources. So development is one way of addressing some, some of these issues. I come from a building family way back, French Kia. If I was a developer, I wouldn't touch this with a barge pole because of the sewage runoff. Not unless they get their pipes all sorted out. Do they spend time and money on that? Most no. Certainly. I would suggest most certainly, in my experience. They will skim over it. They'll choose the cheapest area. Well, again, they're developers. Again, they're trying to save money. Again, madam, there's there's different developers in the same way. There's there's different supermarkets. They all do slightly and different things. So <coughs> the 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 is actually giving I think you know, not the the parish council is trying to do their best and join up with other areas to sort We've got a policy earlier in the, early, earlier in the plan, which is on housing mix. But because so on any, there's a guy um, sitting in a big stack of hat <laughs> He's got the money to help the fighter, yeah. and he's successful in fighting. That, that, that may change again in the future. I mean, we're looking at stuff here up to 36, I mean, 2036. Well, you know, um, things could easily change again. Well, I think reality is. You know, he's successfully, he had a lot of contacts. Yeah. All you folk, all the village people and town, you know, who are scraping going on with their daily lives. And yeah. and what we're trying to show with these uh, they have got that is that actually, it, it, you know, it is, it you is, is it is say everybody's got this, but now. that's too much. That's an empty decimal, I said. There's a of villages who have got a lot of villages that you see that that's right. good, that's cool. Yeah, right. Here we are at Sachs London, um, having been at uh, Felixstowe two days ago. And really, we meet again. We do, we do. So we do, how we are do. you? Would you like to introduce yourself to us? Hello, I am Jules Hewitt, and I'm your new parliamentary candidate for the next election. I'm delighted to have been nominated and then been accepted, which is great. And it's very important to me that I get on the trail now of what's going on. And there are so many big problems going on. County. This is probably the fifth one, but it's very important to the public that's over here, who for, for, for sure are feeling really underrepresented. Well, I mean, the people that I'm talking to are saying, well, I've already made a representation, I now seem to have to be doing it again, but I'm not sure what, what grounds there are. Now, we've come here specifically today because we went to the one on Monday at Felixstowe, and we were hoping to have somebody from the council prepared to come and actually answer some of the points mm -hmm. that we about density, numbers, speed of delivery, etc. And whether the type of housing we've already built addresses the need that we have. Yeah. And it's questionable whether that's happened. So if we look at this in the round, the whole of Suffolk Coastal, the big two areas of development appear to be Felixstowe, North Felixstowe, mm -hmm. and the Would that be true? And, and, and also, say, family is going to take a hit too. It's going to take a, a hit. Very so, one would, would question whether those that they've elected to represent their views, have they actually gone back to engage with people from a point of view of what might be happening? Because people seem singularly not well informed as to what the consequences of this may be for them and now. I think it's like everything to do with politics at the moment. Mm. People don't understand the structure 
no. they don't understand that in fact interestingly it's the district councils that are involved and although they're giving these delegates who are from the civil service yes, department, I know. That can... we know that there's going to be a big plan which must be very confusing for the smaller villages because they're busy sorting out their neighbourhood plans well, and, and how are they yeah. well we haven't done ours in Spencer, and, and it's how do you fit those into yes. so we know that there's going to be a hit but nobody's talking roads nobody's talking schools they're not talking about the bigger picture and what is amusing out of all that I've experienced today yes. which is wonderful so many people are here mm. what they're not considering is is that the people that they voted in yes. to be their delegates to represent them the Conservative Party are the same people that are ticking the box saying yes you will have those 37 houses because it's not just the planning office it's the guys that say yes in the, in the, you know, in the meetings I, I mean one would assume Westminster is in a mess I don't know whether you've ever seen this wonderful graph but uh, let me show you that. Oh goodness. Yes. And I'll Maybe show that I'll, sh I'll show that to the camera. The camera. And and we'll put this in, in the report on this particular meeting. But what it indicates is that ever since the nineteen eighties mm -hmm. where there was a complete failure in supporting local authorities in building their own homes, yeah. all you've seen delivering housing mm -hmm. is the housing associations have gone on in the same sort of manner because they're cash starved and then private developers were expected to pick up that load. So c the consequence of that is here we are now in uh, nearly 2020 and we're about 3 million dwellings light. Now 3 million dwellings is a lot and what we're being seeing happening from Westminster is any particular local authority that looks to be willing is actually asked to take more than it should be taken and Suffolk Coastal is in that category. Sure, I feel. But the thing that I'm also hearing here is that although the proportion of social housing is almost minuscule, it can be two out oh, of thirty yeah, yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. when it gets to the bottom line they are too abandoned. So what, what's happening in the scrutiny of all of that? Well, I, I think one of the, the real problems is the fact that though of those dwellings built a third of them should be affordable a it's a question of affordable because those houses now can be charged out at 80 percent of the market rate and the market rate in this area is quite high and it doesn't really reflect what the local salaries are and, and there is a disconnect between local salaries and what folk are having to do well, it so, brings me quite nicely to something that i really would like to campaign on yeah. i think it would be wonderful for the Lib Dems to put together a mm -hmm. blueprint of affordable housing Absolutely. and that we know that it's really well designed, it's ecologically remarkable yes. and that it's sustainable and if we could push them out all over the place and particularly maybe we can get the charities to get involved too, Absolutely. we can just see something very special being built. Because you live in affordable housing doesn't mean to say that you are disengaged. No, you're it not. actually says so much yes. more. But the, the, the thing that I've come back today for is to find out a bit about self build because I understand that our district has yet to pass. No, they, they, they haven't actually implemented uh, Westminster legislation requiring them so to do. Anyway, that was good. Are you happy with that? Is that a done job? It's a done job. Thank you. You can switch it off. With a little red light. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, they talk the words. They speak the words of mitigation being one of their favourites. That's favorite. a lovely word. Yes, it covers um, well, When you get home, can I recommend that you have a look at um, Walton Community Television. Right. Yep. And um, we went to the um, debate at Mountain when they approved this. Oh right. Yes. And you will see what councillors said. Right. Which councillor said what? Equally important. Which councillor said nothing? Yeah. <laughs> which councillors weren't there, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah. Because there were a number of, of key objections to this from the point of view of do we need these numbers? Um, where's the employment, etc., etc. So I don't know specifically what you're concerned. Well, it wasn't the numbers. We, we we've accepted the, the numbers because well, that, that, that comes down from on high from the government. Yes. Yes, I mean, they 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 they. Yeah. Mind, mind you, they push more numbers if you're a soft target. Well, and we're a soft target. we haven't fought the numbers because they've said that our little village of Westleton is, is, has a variety of oh, services, right, yes. including a, a village hall and a shop. Well, quite frankly, that's all we've got. Yes. So the intimation is there's more. There isn't. No. 
we don't have a bus stop, we don't have a, a general practice service, we don't, uh, we don't have a, a schools, um, we have none of those things. So this, this kind of document is a bit of a glossy spin on things. Okay, fine, we'll accept that and let that go, even though it's inaccurate. As far as I'm concerned, and the gentleman I just met, met with, the yeah. planning officers, says, well, you've got a bench where people congregate and meet. Well, that, it precisely, I don't I, 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 I mean in the summer. And well, you know, what do you do Clement in the snow and rain? No, but, but, but Why have you got a cover on there? But, ex right. even, but yeah, no, we don't, I'm afraid. No. But accepting, uh, even uh, ignoring and accepting the numbers, yeah. what we're saying is that the, the site they have chosen in the village is in totally inappropriate. Right. Because they call it a gateway to the village, but it's actually a dog leg that sticks out from the village, right. and, which opens onto the B1125, Redford Road, yeah. which is a national speed limit along that yeah. point. Now, you can't... But it, is it within the village emblem? They've extended the village emblem yeah. right. to encompass this new site. If you've got that, we can put Before, that Before, that was outside the village emblem. Yeah, they, they, they changed the it there. in 2016, yeah, I believe, oh, no. just prior to... So it's being prepared for I think that they had decided that that's the site they wanted. Yes. They've extended the site boundaries to include that. Right. And the other sites they didn't want, for whatever reason we, we can't understand, right. have been left outside the boundary. So when they say this site is in the boundary, it's only because they changed the boundary. It was originally outside of that area, and that, that was it. You could not build that. But a, a bit that I do know is that if the housing was going to be um, housing association, affordable social housing, that one? which we yeah, are building elsewhere in the village, covers the whole, right? uh, well, yeah. if it was that, mm. then they are allowed to take land that is adjacent to yes. but outside of the other if it was a private development they are not allowed to do that well, so has there been a fitting of the envelope to fit a private development we, as well as no, well, we don't know the designation of this site in terms right. of its use there has been reference to suitability for other people but that's been built in the village already there's yes. there's, there's there is a site being with the parish council working with the developer elsewhere right. for local affordable yeah. housing under cover, so that must be used. Yeah. And then also for older people on another specific really? site. So we're saying that, that plus another site in a more sensible location um, more than reaches the number they that require. They Why do they want this this extension of the village, which is totally inappropriate? And, it, and, and if and, and if it's for children, there's no path there. You can't build a path because you're straight onto private land and you're going back into the village. They have to cross the, the, the B road, which is a national speed limit, to cross over to walk up to the completely opposite end of the village to go to where the, the playground is. Right. Which is where the site we're saying is, why aren't you building there? Which had less environment than their own environmental view have than the site they're building. So it just seems there's no sense if we pointed this out. So what is your district councillor have to say on this? Uh, not a lot. Um, we're speaking with the parish council who are parish totally in agreement. Yeah, yeah, but not the, the, we don't get. I don't think we really get access as such to the district council. We did actually. We did actually copy, copy him in yeah. on our, our concerns, concerns yeah, right. on for the for the first draft plan, right. for which we had no. Response. No, none at all. We haven't had any response. Are you making a response to this? Oh, of course we do. But the yeah. Because the, what that does, and I can't emphasize it enough, is that, that gives you the yeah. ability to make your own representation of the planning inspector. Yes. And that really is of import for you, I would suggest in this case. Because, I mean, what you seem to be highlighting is the fact that your village envelope has been adjusted to deliver a site that's really dangerous and unsuitable. Yes. Whereas you've got adequate sites already within the envelope. Yes. So, so that, why was that done? And, and really, the inspector will ask the planning officer to justify that decision. Our concern, our concern is, is that with the number of uh, sites and developments yeah. being discussed, our concern is, is that we wanted to get this off the, the, the draft plan now, because now yeah. it's in the plan, and, now, and, and none of our issues and uh, concerns have been addressed at all, um, but it, it becomes a bit of a, a set, a, 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 a fait accompli, in terms yes. of that's the glossy brochure, and it works lovely, fulfills the numbers that are required to build, rubber stamp, off we go. And our, our concern is that we were supposed to be allowed to make representations, they were supposed to consider them and respond to them, they haven't done so. 
And so where is the democratic process? Well, that, 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 that is something you certainly should pursue. And, and there is an ombudsman for my administration by the district council. Uh, he can give you an area. But fundamentally, one would assume that at this stage, it's already been approved <laughs> by the council. Yes, yes. And um, your next point of being able to challenge it, other than your written statement on this yeah. meeting today, will be with the inspector. When we she only, or he comes to approve, we can only that this is sound. Yes. I mean, yeah. it is soundness, and I mean, what you seem to be saying is. It's of questionable soundness, the development has been in, in, in your area. This is, this is a science. And, and the inspector does actually go and look at contentious areas. Mm. And uh, at the end of the day, that, that is a, a legal process and they've got to justify it. Mm. So we can get access to the planning inspector. Yes, and uh, they're, they're Bristol, I mean, they're well worth uh, yeah. well, then, a In fact, they, they, the planning inspector originally came up in 2016 right. when the boundary, the settlement boundary, was then agreed. So, yes. So, so this has been moved after it, it has. the previous visit. Yes. So this is what, you know, we've well, yeah. been feel that this has been so, could I just ask a, a, mm. a quick question? How many dwellings do you have in your settlement currently? It's about 340, I believe. Right. And how many will the new development that's ongoing and the possible one add to it? It would be 67 if the private development and the council We're talking about 20, 22 percent yeah. increase yeah. In, 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 in the village community. Yeah. But, the, but the, 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 the local plans are specifically putting forward for 35. Yeah. So the other numbers are the plans of the parish council to build affordable homes and for old people. Well, yes, and, and I think most of us would support that. Because we're so. desperately in need of both. Well, well, we indeed. totally agree yeah. with that. We yeah. totally agree with that, and, yeah. and we're not against numbers at all. No. Um, it's, it's just appropriate yeah. where they are. The right, the right house is in the right place, simple. Uh, of the right type. Of and that right. we're listening uh, and, and, and I would like to see this plan delivering. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to be listened to as a part of a democratic process, is that our yeah. a real and justified concerns are at least considered even if they don't agree with them. Uh, and he's considered it. And there's I'm no to see to give you a response. Absolutely, and there's no signs. Nice to meet you, And your name was? Uh, Andrew Ross. Well, not was, is. is. It still is. <laughs> I knew you. Joe man. Bourne. Okay, well, best of luck. Thank and you and we'll much. put this out on, because it, it's a common issue yeah. uh, throughout the show. Sure. Not, if not this, then another. And, and the, other, the other thing that we need to take on is that there's been a, quite a savage cut in staffing. Mm. Both of planners, yeah. highways. Yes. I mean, I don't know whether you saw this week in the East Anglia, and there was a somewhat a development somewhere, and the chairman of the actual planning committee said, you know, the highways response was was appalling because it it was a dangerous and 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 and, and he questioned the, the capability, and they came back and said they had to approve 500 to a thousand applications a mm. month. And they've got other resources? No, yeah, no. That, so it, it, it's a tick box, know, sign off, sign off, sign That's our worry. Yeah. And that's the worry that you might get. Yes. So I, I'd get to the inspector. Yes, really sir. Worried. You're going to try? Yeah. So, you know, Bristol is the place to yeah. That's the... Because I don't think they've appointed you. I could ask Mark whether they have. Oh, okay. Until they've finished and this is approved. Mm -hmm. And they deem it sound. I don't deem it sound. Not for Felix, though, because we're going to have an increase in the dwellings in our community from 11,000 up to 15,000 plus in a little under two decades. That's what we see. And we've got the wonderful all wild bridge and up to services. You know, no, no, no northern bypass routes, which, which is a real necessity. This road coming to you is a appalling. Yeah, and then we've got, the, and then we've got EDF. Yeah, we've got EDF um, and Sizeable City. Do you think that will happen? Yes, yes. absolutely. Why do you Well, they, they've let, the, when we met with Scottish Power to discuss the, the building of the, um, the substation. substation. Oh, yeah, that one. They, yeah. they let's let the, the EDF is going to happen at yeah. that meeting. What, what because least. they couldn't come on to that? The well, they, 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 that was a switch at the last minute. They were going to use yeah, Sizeable yeah, C, which got right. kicked out. Yeah. Um, or they, they discounted it or whatever. But, I mean, are they justifying that? Because by saying EDF are definitely going to the campaign. Well, they said that at the time they said it's definitely going ahead. When it does, we can get out our um, substations in first or, or in part of that I think I think the government are, are so busy firefighting on well, every are, front yeah. that it's just going to go 
going basically under the radar because we're not making enough advances in other forms of renewable energies. Well, we still haven't cracked the storage of the energy when it's surplus. And once we do that, then you've got to question whether you're going to need such a big base load that is ideal for nuclear power. Yeah. But if it isn't there, then why would you? Need it? There's a there's a better way of doing. We it. We can always buy it in from the French. Well, well, that's assuming. Well, yeah, well, no, but yeah, there'd be well, a tariff on it because we're not a part of their market. Our electricity will be delayed. Day, right? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> nice to have met you. Thank you. Bye. Well, there we are. We did get some questions answered, particularly on self-build, on schooling. Uh, we did touch briefly on medical needs uh, up until 2046. Busy here in Saxman, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, must be about half past five. Uh, we, we've sort of about done now. Um, we will be keeping in touch on future and further developments on the local plan. So, for the time being, this is uh, Mike Nui saying bye-bye from Saxon.